Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm still on the Isle of Butte. Um, I'm actually properly out in the sticks now. Because uh, where I've come to try and find is a place called St Blaine's Chapel. Uh, from what I can gather, it's a ruined chapel, ruined church. And yeah, so I'm going to try and see if I can find it. I think it is kind of up in that direction somewhere, so I'll have to try and get up and find it and sh show you what it is. And yeah, again, I think there are quite a few wee hidden gems on Dial of Butte, so it's always kind of good to go for a week exploring, try and see what you can find. Uh, before I do head off, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channelscoffee.com page, the channel's PayPal account, and the TikTok account in the description bar below, and in the pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my things and head on out. Another view out over at Arran. You can just hear how quiet it is. I think St Plains Chapel is up in that direction somewhere, so I'll have to go for a wee wander up and try and see if I can find it. So that's information there. So that's a nasty settlement the ruins of. So let's get here. Yes, yeah, so that's uh, where we're heading. And it is also on the west island way. Right, so again, there's a narrow long distance route that actually takes you through like there to Hebrides. Well, I think that's it, it's to and other Hebrides. And to do a butte. Yeah, that's where we've just come. So, I don't know if we're there in the sunlight. That's called St Blaine's Hill, I think. And I'll be looking over towards our guile. I think. Yeah, that's right. That's part of our guile. Double checked all in Google Maps. And it's Kintyre. So. So I've one bit of our guile that I've not been to, which I'll have to rectify. Yeah, you can just see the ruins of the church just ahead. Just through this gate. So the obligatory information board. Gives you an idea of the way out over that. That's the ruins there. That's the Plains Chapel with the lower courtyard. And you can see the outer wall of the monastic settlement right there. Well, go all the way right round. I'm going to head up there and have a wee wander. Yeah, it's so peaceful up here. up there. Yeah I'd noticed there was a a plaque on a tree stump over here. Gonna go over, over have a wee nosy, eh? see what that's about. Yeah it's just saying loose rock. I was just like trying to get folk to stay away for the, the cliff face. But I should get quite a good view of the site from up here. It'd be ni nice to get some aerial shots but I think it is still a bit too too blowy for that. Plus, I do think the sort of Scotland do have restrictions on drone flying. So, yeah, 
but it's all nice to view from up here. I've turned the camera around. Yeah, so I can see the runs through the trees. Yeah, I'll just try and find the way up to that church itself. Yeah, I found the way in. So we can come round to pretty much the back of the site. And that's the gate. Yeah, just be careful with that gate. It does stick on the, on the, the steps. So we have to give it a bit of a pull to get it open. But I'm in. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait and see what I'm seeing. Information board. Yes, yeah, so I'm standing just outside the nave. Yeah, the third Marcus really did enjoy the storing places. And yeah, that archway is very Romanesque. Yeah, it's early 12th century. That's the chancel. And that would have been where they'd have kept like the sac the sacraments or they could have like the bread and the wine. They've got a hog back here as well. Okay, it's very worn in comparison to the ones that are at the, the, the old parish church in Govan, or the one at Luss. But again, the Norse were here, so of course we're going to have a hog back stone. set of steps into the, the war section of the graveyard. Well, we'll actually back at the car after being up to St Blaine's Chapel. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a good walk. And again, uh, with it, it could have been a bit, a bit breezy today. Certainly blew away the cobwebs. And yeah, it was just really interesting to to see it. And yeah, it was put us again. As with I think with a lot of Butte, it's overlooked. And I think a lot of people, if, if they come to Butte, they, they'll go to Mount Stewart. But there's definitely these wee hidden gems, like St Plains, definitely worth visiting. 
and yeah, and just having a wee explore. I definitely enjoyed my wee, my wee wander up, my wee go kind of explore the, the, the ruins. Hopefully you all enjoyed it all as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.